In this video I will show you how to enable the flash while you are recording video and why you should do that. Here I have my Sony Xperia 1 Mark V and the camera app opens when I press the camera button. But I have two apps, one for video, one for photo and video. And this is the app for photo and video and you see here I have the video mode. You can switch to video mode. And in the video mode you have the option to enable like a bulb mode so for your phone it might be a little bit different but there is always a setting that looks like a light bulb or a lightning like electricity those are the most common symbols for icons used for flash and here it shows it's enabled now the phone is in torch mode on enabled for video and i can record a video while the flash is on the light the torch is on on the phone this helps for the video to get a little bit more light just a bit more especially when you are close to your subject if it's something really far away you really don't want to have this you wouldn't really need to use it but if it's something nearby like a meter away or half meter away or even closer this can really make a big difference the torch or light flashlight on or off you can choose this you can enable it and disable it you can also see the difference on the desk here now it's disabled it's off now it's on it's a small difference because the lights here they're very bright on the desk but if those lights were off you would actually see a really big difference between these modes the flashlight on my phone is really very <laughs> very weak but it still works good enough to work as a video light. If you need more light, you can also always add more lights like I have here on the desk. I have uh, separate lights. The flash is uh, mostly used to find your keys or to find something in the dark, but you can also use it to take pictures and uh, especially for uh, daylight pictures. If you're taking pictures at the beach, you should always use the flash when you're at the beach to reduce the shadows. You know those shadows you see when you take a picture in bright sunlight the flash can actually make that better but that's for pictures you can also use that for video but in the sunlight the flash for video is a bit less powerful than the photo mode and here i show you the video pro app this is not gonna be like that on most of the phones most of android phones but I show you here just so you see that I also have this option in the Video Pro app. And um, there are lots of menus here, lots of things. And um, it doesn't really need to be like this. A simple camera app is really enough on your phone. Android or iPhone is the same. And here the video light is in the menu. There are lots of settings in this app. And most of them you wouldn't really want to change them or really matter anyway. But yeah, the auto mode was off for some reason. I don't know why. So usually I use the auto mode for videos and photos most of the time because I prefer the, not to think too much about uh, taking the picture or the video. And now the video is recorded and you can see that the record button now it's off. It's not recording. And I want to show you the video light option. So you either the hamburger menu but it, here it is actually in the menu and on this app it has even two tabs it's a bit like sony cameras i'm not sure i don't have a sony camera but it, you have the option for video light and the video light option once i enabled it it's going to turn on and it will stay on while i record so i have it's the same as the camera app before but i only show you this one also because I have those two apps and you might have the same phone, Xperia phone, and this is really easy to, to set it up. Many times when you use the video light to enable it, eventually it will disable it if you don't use it for a while. So you might have to re-enable it again. But now the phone is recording video and it has this uh, torch mode or video light on enabled. And I can always disable it if I wanted to so now the video light is off I'm not sure if you see a difference on the desk you should be able to see it or on my hand you see on my hand when the light is off video light is off almost there so now it's off and should be 
you can see the screen is a bit dim on my Android phone now, on my Xperia. But you can see on my hand in the actual image, now in the video, that there is light on my hand there. If you need more light, if you need more light for the video, you can always use extra lights and you can use actually just bright, bright daylight. In the shade, it's the simplest thing. But if you really need to make a video or take photos somewhere indoors, especially for video, it helps a lot to increase, to get a bit more light. Because with video, especially if you use 4K60, you really need more light. I show you here more of the settings available in this app. But it really, each app will be a little bit different. Each phone, each brand will have a little bit different. Samsung will be different. Xiaomi, Huawei, uh, Google Pixel will be completely different. The Gcam is a really great app to have as a camera. So it's really worth it to get the Google Pixel to buy it only for the Gcam, really, I was thinking about it. But Sony Xperia has really good uh, camera apps, I believe, also. If the video light is on and you close the video up, it turns off the light automatically. And when you open the video up, it might turn on, but most probably no. So you will have to re-enable the video light setting in the menu. So yeah, it's uh, it's maybe it's to save battery, so you don't accidentally keep the video light on. Maybe you forget to to, re to turn off the light, so that's a, a way to keep the battery. And also, I noticed when I use video light with my Sony Xperia, the phone gets a little bit hotter faster and especially in 4K60, so if the temperature is a bit high, maybe the video light is something to avoid, I don't know. The option is there, you can always use it and it's a, a great option to use when you need to make a short video and the light lighting conditions are not great and especially for subjects that are nearby. If you're making a video of something that's far away, it wouldn't really matter. So you would want to have the video light off or the torch, torch mode off. I hope this helps you set the light on your Android phone to have a better video, even better pictures with the flash. Hopefully this is good enough. Thanks for watching.